Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Uh, I've just spent the whole afternoon on the road and this cell is quite hot. I'm going to try and give you a close-up on the camera in just a minute, but I wanted to take a quick reading. I am at, uh, let me see here. Ouch, that's hot too. 13.2 volts when I, uh, idle the engine up to get the voltage regulator to come to its maximum point. I've lost quite a bit of fluid to the bubbler and the level inside the inside the tank has dropped somewhat but the plates are still submerged and it's it's cranking away quite nicely without foaming so I'm pretty happy about that. I have to take these tests in between when the uh, electric fan comes on so here we go. Alright, stopwatch is running. Again, 13.19 volts at about 29 amps. And 500 milliliters in 17 seconds, folks. 500 milliliters in 17 seconds. Okay, the number is 382 watts. That's uh, 13.19 volts at 29 amps. And I actually think that the amps is lower than that because of the heating of the shunt. But I'm just going to go with what I measured. So 13.19 times 29, 382 watts in. I am producing 1,765 milliliters per minute. That's 1.765 liters per minute. I've exceeded my uh, my goal of 1.5 liters per minute. I am now at 1.765 liters per minute. The cell efficiency is running at 4.62, a new high, 4.62 milliliters per minute per watt. Okay, you're going to have to uh, forgive the shoddy camera work here. I've only got so much tether, but I want you to see. Alright, there we go. There's the output of the cell. Can you see the vapor coming off of that cell? Now, a lot of that is steam because the temperature of the cell is, uh, is about 150 degrees, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty hot. I'm going to take an actual measurement in a minute and give you the exact temperature of the cell. But I want you to see how fast it is pumping out of there. And I can't get the camera any closer to actually show you inside the cell other than maybe to change the lighting here. Hold on a second. Yeah, I think you can get a pretty good idea from that. That's the cell in the Honda. There's my voltage. That's at idle 12.73. That goes up to 13.19 when I elevate the idle speed just a little bit. All right. Before I take my temperature measurement, I want to show you one other thing here. Get my drop light. And Okay, you can see that the water level has dropped. Let's do this. And yeah, it shows up pretty good like that. You can see that the water level has dropped to about three quarters of an inch below the uh, stainless steel strap that wraps around the top of the container. That is how much water I've lost through the foaming effect and through uh, evapora evaporation from the cell. So it's important to have a cell that can be fully submerged in the water. That's one of the reasons uh, I've been wor working towards a design that allows me to fully submerge it with room to spare and then uh, 
you can simply return the water to the electrolyzer tank after a daily run and it would pull it right back from the bubbler or from whatever reservoir tank you've got. Okay, according to this uh, actually very well calibrated uh, thermocouple thermometer with this probe right here somewhere, if I can get it in the camera. Hello? There it is. There's the probe. No wisecracks, please. Uh, 178 degrees Fahrenheit is what the cell got up to. So it was not boiling. That was just uh, steam coming out with the uh, elevated water temperature. Okay, one little uh, <laughs> unexpected circumstance. When I uh, lifted the lid of the the electrolyzer tank, <coughs> the neoprene gasket fell off the cover, and uh, be it being warm, as warm as it is, I can't get it back on until I let this thing cool down. So, <laughs> it's going to cool down for a little while. Uh, I'll go in for dinner, maybe uh, check my email, and then uh, come back out, and hopefully it'll have cooled down enough where I can pull it out and reassemble it correctly. Um, that's about it for now. I think that was a very, very successful test run. I think you will all agree. I sure am having fun. I hope you are too. Again, uh, to help me acquire the expensive materials and test equipment and machining equipment that I'm going to need in order to achieve the next level, I would certainly hope that you would consider making a very generous donation at zerofossilfuel.angelfire.com. Thank you very much.